Okay, let's get this vlog started. I am booked, I am packed, and I am at the Anchorage Airport. Got a three hour flight to Seattle, and then gonna do some ridiculous amount of hours to LA. So, uh, fun, but I'm excited to see everyone. Oh my gosh, I've been waiting for this. I can't wait to work with everybody, meet everybody. All the folks that have done awesome transformations, it's gonna be amazing, so. Uh, probably chat on the next stop. Seattle, here we come. Okay, I am in Seattle. It is 6.09 local time. Um, we should be off the tarmac at 7. We got underway a little late in the last stop. Um, not much. I mean, ran around a little bit. Got some breakfast. Um, you can call it that. It's airport food, right? But really stoked. This is going to be... So I'm leaving at 7 local time, getting in at 2.57 p.m. Atlanta time. I guess it's an upwards of four to five hours somewhere, so it's gonna be another long flight, but... And I lost my sunglasses, because I'm notorious for that. I lost them in Seattle somewhere, which is really fun. But uh, yeah, uh, just really excited to get there. Been looking forward to this. I'm stoked to meet everybody there, get to all these classes, especially learning new stuff. That's gonna be really awesome. Um, and then I imagine by the time I walk out of there, there'll be this big fire me to start my L2 certification. So we'll see. Not that I need anything else on my plate right now, but <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm gonna finish my so-called breakfast and then uh, wait to hear the call to board the plane and then I'll talk to you in Atlanta. Bye. All right, good morning from Atlanta, Georgia. I was gonna get back on here yesterday, but my gosh, I was more jet lagged than I realized it was Seemingly a long flight, though I met two wonderful people on the flight. We talked the whole time, and I didn't get any rest. So I got in, got to my Airbnb, I, and sort of checked out for the day. I was taking what was intended to be a 20-minute nap. It turned about four and a half hours. Then I went hunting for food late at night at a place I don't know. So <laughs> it was really long. But <clears throat> I am here um, at a trail waiting on Travis um, Mahaffey. I hope I'm, sp I'm, hope I'm saying that right. Uh, he should be here any second. We're going to walk a trail. Uh, stop by the, yoga, the DPY Performance Center. That was really cool. That's what we'll be hanging out tomorrow. Um, and uh, um, yeah, we're just going to have a lot of fun. I have no plans today. It's Wednesday. So nothing starts till tomorrow, Thursday through Saturday. So I'm just kind of going with the flow. Had some office, uh, <laughs> some awesome breakfast at a place called Biscuits and Burgers. Uh, they had really high ratings and reviews. They are everything they say they are. It was really, really good. Um, but yeah, we're gonna walk a trail, gonna have some fun, and I'll check you guys later. Okay, so I'm here. It's day one, DDPY Performance Center. Oh my gosh, so excited. I feel right now like I'm getting ready to go back out in the rain. Like the energy is insane. I've got butterflies, I've got excitement, I've got adrenaline. I've got everything I need for the day. So excited, working out with Hayden at nine, working out with Dallas Page himself at 145, and we got the whole weekend ahead of us. So um, I'll check back in with you after this. It's gonna be an awesome day. We need a ring in here. We need a ring. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. All right, so I finished up Hayden's class. I don't know, it's probably coming up in an hour ago. I, I, I forgot to do this right after, but I was meeting a ton of people um, out of the group. It's been, it was awesome. I uh, redlined 76% of the workout, it was crazy. Um, it was awesome. And then I got, I'm gonna be in Dallas's class at 145, which is super exciting. And then I'm working out with Paige tomorrow and then Garrett? Maybe I have to look at my schedule again. Anyway, this event has been so awesome so far. I'm super stoked. Um, man, I hope I get invited back next year. It's it's really crazy to think that about a hundred people were invited, you know, out of seventy thousand on Facebook group. I mean, I know there are probably criteria and whatnot, but um, this is pretty. This is awesome to me. So I'm I'm really soaking up being here, being all these incredible people, listening to their really inspiring stories. Um, I feel like a little, I feel really renewed about um, doing this program more and uh, challenging myself to maybe level two instructors. So we'll, we'll see what happens, but um, yeah, just wanna check in here. It's, it's still day one, one workout left. And then I know that the group wants to do some fun stuff 
um, around here later on. So I'll check you then. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, man, we just did two back-to-back -back workouts with Diamond Dallas Page. He uh, he did a crazy 30-minute jack workout he never did before. And I was, man, my straps are broke. My jack straps are broke, so I didn't get to wear those. I can't imagine how intense that would have been otherwise. Um, and then we just did a kind of cool new uh, stretch workout. So about another 50 minutes there. Overall, I think I've done an hour and a half of workouts today. Just got done with a blood flow restriction training um, from Dr. Tom Welland. He's a he's an expert in this field. Um, it's a really cool thing. It'll be posting up on the uh, the page essentially is at some point. It's gonna be really really awesome. Uh, they do have really cool results. I've I've definitely seen that for myself. Um, but yeah, it's raining like crazy outside. It was worse earlier. It was pouring. It was pouring crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go back to the Airbnb, get cleaned up, and uh, uh, go find some food. I haven't had any of that yet today. I like this really small breakfast. So uh, day one was awesome, and we're gonna just kind of go from there, and maybe I'll check back in later this evening. See you later. Okay, guys, just uh, wrapped up day two of uh, you know the DDPY PC. Um, gosh, so I had a bit of scheduling conflict this morning, and I missed uh, Paige's class. Not to be confused with Diamond Dallas Page, his wife. Page, I know, Page, Page, I don't know, figure that out. I have to keep calling him Dallas now because I keep getting confused. Um, anyway, missed that, but just got done with an awesome class with Josh Nair out in the Georgia sun. I don't even know like what temperature it is out here. What's the local weather here this morning? 75 degrees, totally sunny. Um, I couldn't even stand on my mat, mat most of the time. It was so hot. Burned, I think it was like 1118 calories in 50 some odd minutes. It was insane. Um, but great class. Um, we also did this huge photo shoot. Uh, we all went up and, uh, you know, just got some cool poses and, and things like that. And uh, there was like two phases. So everybody got to do that. I'm really looking forward to see what they do with that little compilation. Um, just, to, you know, to put it simply, uh, uh, Summit has been nothing short of phenomenal. It's It's been so fun. You know, we just wrapped up day two. I got a class with Paige tomorrow. So this is DDP. Uh, and then I got an actual class with Josh. The one today was not uh, uh, scheduled. This one will have to be inside the PC tomorrow. Um, but just great getting to know so many more new people and uh, just hearing their stories. I'll tell you, man, we we got to listen to a little sneak peek of stuff that uh, Paige shared with us yesterday, Dallas shared with us yesterday, uh, for a show he's doing called Change or Die. Um, I know he's talked a little, bit, a little bit. I won't spoil anything, but um, just some really incredible stuff. Uh, it's really neat to see the passion he has just for taking these folks in just random average everyday people and just saying hey let's see what we can do right but not without the understanding that they have work to do too right this isn't going to be walking the accountability crib and, and walk out you know the best you've ever felt that's not how it works um and nobody standing in here that has a transformation story um will tell you that right uh guys like brian and candy and caitlin and uh, stephanie and um, you know, just all I could go on. Just so many people have shared incredible stories, and that's why they're here. Um, they are such an inspiration to so many people in their communities and Facebook and social media, and just you know, everybody they touch, they're like, hey, like, how'd you do this? So it's such an honor to be an L1 instructor. Um, I'm so pumped about getting back and finding a way to, to get a class going. Um, it's not something that I've I've pushed hard for with, with school and all that, but um, the reason I became an instructor is because I want to change people's lives, right? Um, you know, when I first started posting on Facebook, it was just an accountability thing for me personally. You know, I would, sometimes I would say, you know, if you don't see me post a workout today, someone needs to call me out and say, why didn't you? Now, that never happened, but fortunately I never had to, because even if I was sick, I got a workout in. Um, but it was just a reminder to me that every day we can progress in something. I only needed to lose 20 pounds. I lost those 20 pounds. Like, what's next? Toning up feeling stronger, feeling better, working on the food. That's a work in progress. The point is, is that we as instructors get to be ambassadors for the DDPY brand. And there's a load of credibility here. And it's up to us to keep that credibility as teachers. So I can't wait to get back and start up a class and um, just help people get and reach their goals and stay there. Um, I want this to spread like wildfire wherever it can go because it's changed my life. And I've talked to just hundred people this weekend of lives it's changed so <clears throat> great stuff um it's 6 49 p.m and i just had my lunch that i bought four hours ago 
So it's still good. Um, <laughs> it's still good. So I'm probably going to go back to my Airbnb and clean up and figure out what to do the rest of my evening. Probably homework, even though I don't want to. Um, and then, yeah, I'll, I'll check you guys later. But can't wait for day three. Hey guys, uh, welcome back. It is the end of day three. So um, today was the last day of Summit. Uh, I have literally slept two hours. I stayed up super late last night doing homework and then I think I went to bed somewhere in the range of uh, 2.30 and somewhere back up at 4.30. Went with a small group uh, out to a really nice park. Um, did a really cool... Uh, uh, just a little mini hike. It wasn't anything big. Um, took some cool pictures doing crow and um, uh, some other fun stuff. But, uh, you know, had, you know, went to the Performance Center, had a class with Paige, Paige, Dallas's wife, and uh, another class with Josh. Those were back to back, and I am exhausted at this point. They were really good classes. So, just to give you an idea, so Paige had everybody come into Plank for the duration of the entire song Roxanne by the police, I believe it is. And every time Roxanne was said, and that means 27 times, you had to push out of Plank into Down Dog, come back, do a push up and come back up. Um, so there was that. And then Josh was a big fan of Plank today too, directly following that. So my wrists are a little sore today. Um, but they were good workouts on the last somewhere around 1500 calories burned today. They were really, really good workouts, you know, grabbed some lunch and then, um, uh, came back and then we had the, um, close out instructor meeting, lots of neat stuff coming down the pipeline for the certification program. Uh, it's nothing that I can really talk about yet. It's still a concept, but it's cool. It's cool. It's going to enable me to help other people in different ways. And I am. I'm really excited about that. So uh, as a matter of fact, it made me think of some people that I want to reach out to directly um, and kind of start this process and see um, what, what I can do with it. So um, this is really exciting stuff. I love how the program continues to evolve and change and um, just just good stuff. Uh, Dallas has like a really good team around him um, and he listens to the feedback of the instructors as well as other people. So just, it's really cool this weekend. Um, just amazing. You really can't talk up to a single word or phrase. Just a really great time. Learned so much. Um, even broke a few barriers in terms of moves I didn't think I was capable of doing. And I kind of pushed myself this weekend. So that was neat. Um, so after that, you know, I w went and did iFly with a few other DDPY friends. Um, that, <laughs> that was super cool. I haven't done that since May 31st of 15. So a shade under seven years had a super fun time uh and then we had some steak and shake which uh i haven't had in ages that was cool i, I forgot they were a midwest chain so you know down here in smyrna ga um but yeah uh and now i'm just i'm home and i'm gonna do a photo dump and i have more homework to do and then in about six hours i gotta be at the airport um so the wheels are up at 6 a.m so that's gonna be another seven hours of flight time and then i'll be home and um really excited to see my girls Really, really excited. It's been a great weekend, but uh, just the right length. Ready to see my ladies. So, um, yeah, I'll probably maybe follow up when I get home and, and whatnot. But, yeah, that's it. This weekend has been incredible. Just awesome. Thank you to the DDPY crew. Uh, you guys, all the work you put in was very, very clear from the get-go. The photo shoot, the performance center, um, all the accommodations, everything especially the exclusive pc merchandise for summit this year super cool so yeah um that's really it so maybe i'll chat with you guys later maybe i won't if this is the end don't be surprised bye